Well, happy Halloween week. We are excited to get things underway this week. It is a spooky holiday and there are some spooky costumes that you can do or some not so spooky costumes. Yep. We're here with Beth Owens with Free Spirit and Artistry and she's going to show us a few tips and tricks on making your Halloween costume top notch. And we have a look that you're going to teach us. Yes. What are we doing this time? We are going to be doing a cheetah look. Uh, this is one of my favorite looks. This is a nostalgic look for me. Uh, this is one of the first designs that I ever learned how wow, to do when I, I started face chaining. Yep. Um, it has a lot of detail in it too. It kind of reminds me of my grandma. She always taught me how to do my, she was my first art teacher. So kind of just kind of takes me back to hanging out with her. How awesome. Yeah, and pretty, a little nostalgic, huh? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. It has a lot of detail in it. So she taught me all I know. So it's pretty fun to kind That's of reminisce awesome. this. That's yeah. awesome. Let's get started. What are we doing first? So I'm just going to start by doing some yellow face paint over your left eye, I believe. Okay. Yep. So I'm just going to place it in kind of like, this is like a deconstructed type of cheetah print. Okay. So it's a little bit less animalish, a little bit more abstract. Can you okay. keep your eyes closed sure. for me? I'm just going to pat this. So how did you get started doing all of this? Yeah, so I was working at my previous uh, job that I was working in 2011 in my early uh, adulthood and my uh, former boss, now best friend, business partner, Tina Grabowski, she uh, jumped out in front of me and she was like, you're going to learn how to face paint today. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was always used to her throwing adventure, adventurous, creative things down my way. We worked with kids, so we were always trying to find ways to engage with them and make their our camp fun um, and then from that came we would do it for our marketing events and she encouraged me to apply for a uh, contractor gig and I kept it part-time until um, 2019 when I decided to go full-time and it's been adventurous since then. Yeah, absolutely. We actually met you at a Braid Babes shoot. Yes, we they, did. They're so lovely. Yeah, they hired you to do the mermaid look. Yes, they did. And you you really stepped up to the plate <laughs> there. You got us looking all mermaid-like. I was, was feeling so like Ariel. Fun. Yes, it was so beautiful. I wish I could do this all the time. Yeah, so it's, uh, this is like literally one of my favorites. I had a, uh, a party, one of my wonderful private clients, and we had I did cheetahs and tigers all night and it was just, it was great. I bet animals are a lot of fun too because they're, you know, something different and yeah. not the typical clown or witch yeah. or something like that. And you can really test your skills. Yeah, it's it's fun. I like to challenge myself and I always create uni uh, unique and original designs for every person that gets in my chair. You'll never see the same design replicated. Yeah. I, I always try to enhance what's unique about the person that's sitting in my chair. and. Um, Really try to show them how amazing and beautiful they are. So it's pretty cool. I'm almost done here. Oh I'm just my gonna gosh. add some glitter. This is and so you're cool. Be all set. So how can people contact you if they want to book you or just learn more about you? Yeah, you can check out my Facebook page. It's Free Spirited Artistry, and my Instagram is the same, Free Spirited Artistry. Um, and if you want to book a party or if you're looking to have something at an event. Uh, just shoot me an email. It's freespiritedartistry at gmail.com. Um, and I'll be more than happy to see what I can do to accommodate you guys. Very cool. Well, I'm so excited. Glitter is the final step. This is Ooh, to ties glitter. it all together. If you can just tilt your head back oh, ever so slightly for me. Is this too much? No, that's good. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to see all the looks that everybody does for Halloween, if they did the tutorial for the skull, if they copied this design. I just love to see what people did, so don't be shy to share it on my page. Yeah, so if they re replicate these, they yeah. can tag you or? Yeah, tag me. Awesome. Yeah, tag me, message me. If you have any questions, if you need help creating a design and you're not sure what to do, feel free to uh, reach out. I'll be more than happy to see what I can do to help you. That is awesome. And you are all set. I'm going to show you. Can you see it? No, let me see. <laughs> Beth, oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is just a little, like, it's, yeah. it's simple, but it's, so it's cool. really dramatic at the yeah. same time. Wow, guys. So if you want the same look accomplished, you can either try it yourself. Highly don't recommend, unless you're very artistic <laughs> like my friend Beth. Um, but you can contact her on her social media any way you can for the same Halloween looks. Beth, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you on. so much for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Thank you.